Senator Levin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Secretary Rumsfeld, I was struck upon seeing one of the photographs from the prison depicting uh, three naked prisoners in a lump on the floor being overseen by a number of soldiers while other soldiers in the cell block, in the cell block were assisting or were going about their business without any apparent interest in or concern about the obvious abuse of treatment, that the conduct that we were witnessing and watching was not aberrant conduct of a few individuals, but was part of an organized and conscious process to extract information. This picture reinforces the Taguba report, which quotes Sergeant Davis is saying that he witnessed prisoners in the military intelligence hold section, Wing 1A, being made to do various things that I would question morally. And he quoted the military intelligence folks as uh, saying that uh, loosen a guy up for us, make sure he has a bad night, make sure he gets the treatment and that the wing belonged to the military intelligence and it appeared that personnel, military intelligence personnel uh, approved of the abuses. Now, in the Takuba report itself, General Takuba says the following, and this is his finding, that military intelligence interrogators and other U.S. government agency interrogators, which I assume include CIA, actively requested that MP guards set physical and mental conditions for favorable interrogation of witnesses and that personnel assigned to the MP company and brigade were, quote, directed to change facility procedures to set the conditions for military intelligence interrogations. My question to you is, what were those changes that were made? And whether or not they were, it was proper to make changes of the kind that General Takuba refers to. The conclusions you seem to have drawn in your question, Senator Levin, uh, are issues that I believe are probably all being addressed uh, in a, an investigation that was initiated last month. And I believe it's called the Faye. Possibly you, General Smith, who have been involved in this, would want to comment. Sir, I, I, uh, there has been an investigation that's, that was initiated uh, in mid-April uh, by Major General Faye, and it is to look into exactly those allegations as a, uh, as a result. Right. Sec Secretary Rumsfeld, would you agree that people who authorized or suggested or prompted the conduct depicted in the pictures that we've seen, as well as those who carried out the abuses, must be held accountable? That anybody who authorized, knew about, prompted, suggested in the intelligence community or otherwise, those that conduct must be held accountable. That's my very direct question to you. The, um, the pictures I've seen depict conduct, behavior, that is so brutal and so cruel and so inhumane that uh, anyone engaged in it or involved in it would have to be brought to justice. And would that include anybody who suggested it, prompted it, pro hinted at it, I, I think directly or indirectly? I just want to know how far up this chain you're going to go. Are you going to limit this to people who perpetrated it, or are we going to get to the people who may have suggested it? Or That, that uh, is exactly it? why the, the uh, investigation was initiated. That is why it's being brought forward and we'll find what their conclusions are and I'm sure they will make recommendations with respect to prosecution. But in terms of the standard, does anybody who recommended or suggested 
directly or indirectly, that conduct in order to extract information, are they also, in your judgment, if that occurred, violative of our laws and standards? S certainly anyone who, who recommended the kind of behavior that I've seen depicted in those photos uh, needs to be brought to justice. Thank you. My Sorry. time is up. Thank you.